So welcome to How Is Your Day Bombshell. Well, I finished this amazing book by Maisie Yates, The Last Christmas Cowboy, a Gold Valley novel. We're going to be giving you a review of this book. Can you imagine the review it's going to get? It was outstanding. It, I went through the range of emotions of falling in love with the hero, then wanting to wring the hero's neck, but yet uh, she was just a brat and he, she's younger than he is. It shows in the book, but it was a good read. Um, I had a few areas marked and I'm not going to share every area with you as you can imagine, but you want to make sure you stay tuned for that book review. I did want to share something with you that I got at the Goodwill. Um, not today, but when I went the last time and I picked up that Santa's toy shop to give to the candy kitchen, I also found an amazing find. This right here is a Travis Tritt storybook, okay? It says, The Redneck Night Before Christmas now includes this very special audio CD featuring the country western superstar Travis Tritt. In the magic storytelling voice of singer Travis Tritt, you'll ride along with Santa as he visits Bubba and Arlene in the trailer park and fills their stockings with redneck goodies complete with delightful music, hilarious sound effects. The audio story will entertain you and your family for years to come. Read along with a book or without. It makes a great gift for everyone on your list. And uh, originally $12.95. And look at this. It does come with the CD. Okay? That's pretty awesome. And I only paid $1.19 for it at the Goodwill. They classified it as a kid's book. Um, so that was pretty awesome. So it just goes to show you that sometimes you can find the right item at the most, like, wow, I didn't even think I'd find it there. So, and I'm, everybody's been asking me, well, what are you going to do with this one yet? Um, because it is complete and everything, I haven't really decided if I'm going to, um, give this to the candy kitchen or keep it and give it as a gift. The jury is still out, but I'm going to read that book to you next. Um, plus share a little bit of um, Maisie Yates. Oh, I'm just telling you, I, I got so involved in that book today. I have started a new book, and I'm on page 100 of it. Um, happily This Christmas, Happily Incorporated, Susan Mallory, and it's an outstanding read. Uh, I'll give you a little summary of what I've re read so far. Um, well, I guess I could read the back to you, and that would be a good summary. There's no place like Happily Incorporated for the holidays. Wynn Bukeen has a thriving business, a great kid, and mildly embarrassing crush on the guy next door, who's a local cop, Garrick McCabe. She's a strong, independent woman who can't help dreaming about what if with a man she barely knows until he needs her help. Garrick's pregnant daughter will be home for Christmas, and his house needs a woman's touch. Garrick and his little girl were tight once, and he's hoping a small-town Christmas will bring her back to him. But thawing his daughter's frosty attitude will take more than a few twinkling lights. Maybe share the holiday with Wynne and her son will remind her of the joy of family. As the season works its magic on these wounded souls, Wynne realizes it's time to stop punishing herself for a painful secret, while Garrick remains haunted by the ghosts of past mistakes. Will he allow Wynne to open the only gift that she truly wants? His heart? Ah! Outstanding. Um, and other good... I, I like to focus on the good, because we've got enough bad in this world to overcome the good, and it's terrible. But uh, President Biden, the Electoral College, has now made it official. Thank God and Greyhound. Um, but the other thing I was going to tell you is... Uh, I sent a package to my friend who sent me a package three years ago. She sent me a bunch of books three years ago, and um, I wanted to return the favor. So books that I gathered up was Christmas books and some of my Western books, and I sent in two Christmas ornaments, and I sent them Friday thinking, okay, uh, I knew it was too soon, but they kept telling me, oh, we'll have it there by Saturday. She just now got them on Monday, but I'm what I'm most grateful for is the books were not damaged because you you know my mind works over time. I worry about every little detail. No book was damaged, no ornament was damaged, and it was just it arrived in perfect condition. Thank you. So I'm happy that that arrived before Christmas. I'm happy she got her books and some ornaments, and she can enjoy the holiday season with that. So I'm grateful. Um, 
I always like to give. I probably like to give better than I like to receive just because um, to me it's not only the feeling of Christmas but it's more about the spirit of Christmas and um, that's you know sometimes I overextend myself but uh, it is what it is I'm happy to report now I'm down to delivering to our our neighbors and both uh, I have older neighbor gentlemen that we give to down there and some gen uh, the couple across the street their kids the n the newspaper girl the male girl and I always I feel sorry for our male girl y'all she has been outstanding in delivering this year I can't compliment her enough so I've uh, got to tell you um, I always do a gift just like you know you would get a gift Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day so I try to do it the day before Christmas Eve and then Christmas Eve when she has to deliver that way there's a little something that she can be like okay I don't mind coming to work today because I know it's gonna be a good day and I make it different than the day before that way it's something that she can enjoy with her kids and and uh, I always think about the kids this time of year I don't want them to be like downhearted or let down and and uh, that's something that's really important in my heart so anyway up next we're gonna do a little bit of a book review a couple of them and we'll go from there uh, nothing really newsworthy to report today I'm, I'm still praying like you all are probably for a stimulus check more so than anything right now let me tell you um, but that's where I stand with that but God bless. Best wishes.